Father and daughter taking on the world together, then sadly for the dad, the daughter develops a mind of her own. She starts talking about dreams which challenge his beliefs, going against the limited dreams he had for her. It was an emotional roller coaster. I went from smiling to straight out wanting to hurt somebody. It was a movie with scenes very close to an unkind reality. All in all, I love the movie and here are 10 reasons why. Number 1. Soundtrack A Khan Quintus movie made it to Netflix, bringing along undeniable Cameroonian musical talent. It felt great having music alongside the intense scenes. Music from Venutina, Awo, Mr. Liu, Salatil, and numerous other Cameroonian tracks going a long way to inspire love for the Cameroonian artistic scene. 2. Acting It's a movie. In order for it to be great, the acting has to be great. The storyline might be on point, other aspects of the movie good, but in order for the movie to get to the great status, the acting has to be great. The Fisherman's Diary is a great movie, and the actors made it happen. Award-winning actress Faith Fidel playing the role of Eka, Damu, that Maurice playing the role of the school teacher, Eka's father played by Khan Quintus Ramsunwa, the headmaster, awesome job all around. 3. Social Issue This is a movie bringing to light challenges faced by young girls in developing countries across the globe. Two challenges highlighted over here, young girls becoming child brides and being denied an education. True, the main actress female was forbidden from going to school by her father. His reason was not cause you are a girl, as is the case with many girls worldwide. His reason was cause school was a waste of time, a mindset which is definitely harmful to a struggling society. Eka becoming a child bride, a such truth which must be eliminated. 4. Realistic reactions, realistic dialogue. The way Eka reacted when her friend, a role played by Mayo Cho Stem, told her she was annoyed because her uncle was forcing her to go to school, a position Eka wished she was in. The way Cancritus reacted when informed of his daughter disobeying his instructions, Damu Damari's reaction to her failing students and the news of Eka becoming a child bride. The above are a few of the many reactions which stood out to me as accurate. I like the absence of overacting. 5. Directing The actors and actresses can be great, but you agree with me they need a good director to guide them through the scenes, help them show the right emotions, help them showcase their talents efficiently. This is a movie directed by Anna John Scott. He did a great job. 6. Some sprinkled funny scenes. I thought it was funny how Pa Eka was adamant about pronouncing Trouser Traza because he was displeased with his wife's correction even after her passing. Pa Eka's brother's example for why school was pointless also made me smile. Him pointing out good people were cheap. 7. Contagious emotions. This again speaks to the great acting. I felt every emotion. I cried, I laughed, I was angered, I felt compassion, I felt the sadness, filled dreams, filled relationships. I felt the heartbreak. When Eka told her father she was raped daily and his response was go back to your husband, I felt that. 8. Language. Pidgin English, also known as broken English, was the main language used, very appropriate language for the movie. In real life, that would be the language used in scenes like the fish market, low income neighborhoods, palm wine bars, etc. 9. Humanizing the villain. I like when the reason why people are bad is shown. You know, the behind the scenes which led to bad decisions. Eka's dad didn't just out of the blue who hate school and didn't want anything to do with it. His hate came from a bad example with a family member who decided to go the school route. I understood this and it made me have some compassion for him. But towards the end, the pain I felt for Eka surpassed the compassion I had for him. 10 Location and Makeup I applaud the team for getting the right location for the movie. The makeup team did a good job. The scars on Eka's back after she was beaten by her father looked real. The actors' faces revealed the harsh conditions they had to endure. These were the 10 things that did it for me, points which account for my rating of this movie with a 9 on 10. The reason for the one point off is I felt the ending was a little bit rushed. Some scenes were missing. I would like to know how Eka got from wanting to kill herself to the competition then to the university abroad. Also, the speech at the end, though motivational, felt a little bit cringe to me. Now that said, what do you think? How will you read The Fisherman's Diary? Thanks for watching that video. Hope it inspired you to want to commit to Chakara TV. You want more content from us? No worries, we got you covered. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, then sit back, relax, and enjoy daily content from us. It's been Eta on Chakara TV. We are craziness with the strategy.